Celebrities that got fucking homeless. Let's help some people out. Ben Franklin, our founding father, was fucking homeless as a kid. Where the fuck was this on the Declaration of Independence? Thank God this founding father didn't own slaves. Yeah, that was really fucked up. Charlie Chaplin. This He sure was funny on the screen, but his real life was very fucked up. Hell, after he died, some dumb motherfuckers stilled his corpse. Yeah, that actually happened. Harry Houdini. He may be able to escape change, but his family was fucking poor. His family is fucking poor. The only way to make money is to do a bunch of crazy ass magic tricks. That's one way to get some money off the streets. Cary Grant. He may be one of the classic film stars of the 30s and 40s, but he's, he was fucking homeless as a kid. He also smoked, did LSD. He, now that's what I call a classic film star. Colonel Sanders. This KFC is finger licking good, but, is, but he was a poor businessman. Now I know what's in the... 11 herbs and spices. Walt Disney. He didn't create Mickey Mouse. Oh, sure. Everyone goes to... I want to go to Disneyland. That's what every football player says. And his head is frozen to this day. His head is fucking frozen. Ellis Fitzgerald. She may be a classic film star, jazz singer, but her real life was fucking homeless. Chance. Eartha Kitt. The classic Catwoman. She was a struggling singer. She was in the Emperor's New Groove. Wrong lever, crunk. Ed Wood. This real-life cross-dresser made the greatest movie ever made, Plan 9 from Outer Space. He used a stunt double to color Belagosi's face like this. And you can actually see the wires. You would be proud of that movie. Jim Morrison. This guy was so fucked up, he peed in public, and and his autopsy was never performed. He also was kicked off the Ed Sullivan show. Now, that's why I call a rock star. I'm Dr. Phil. Now, if you have problems with your marriage counsel, you need to fix them. I'm Dr. Phil. David Levin and the number one survey... On our top 10 list, I used to be fucking homeless until Johnny Carson found him. And he, uh, oh yeah, he made out with <laughs> Dan Bonaducci. Lots of teenage girls from the 70s want to fuck him up, but he got into trouble. He punched out a transsexual prostitute. That guy deserved it, by the way. But he got clean and he hosts his own radio show now. Willie Ames. Also another teenage heart chick who wants to fuck from the 70s, 80s is enough. Got some problems. He was a cruise director and he became the Bible man of the cinematic Bible man universe. Now that's Sly in the Stones. I've been in the right place at the wrong time. He had a bad case of disco fever when he got homeless. Mary Ki <clears throat> Mary Kidder. Where the fuck was Superman when she wanted him? She was also in Black Christmas. Not that fucking shitty remake. Where the fuck was Superman when we needed him? Shelley Duvall. Stanley Kubrick fucked her up so much that she retired from acting and... What the fuck happened to her? That's what I want to know. Now, that's a fairy tale mystery. Steve Jobs he was a poor business salesman, and he acted like a jerk to every motherfucker in the world. That's why we have iPhones and iPads for you people to look at. Kelsey Grammer. His father was killed, his sister was murdered, and two of his best friends were dead in a scuba accident. Do not end up... Note to self... If some of my friends were murdered, try to kick the murderer's ass to the fucking ground. Now that's what I call it. Now that's what I call everyone knows your name. John Drew Barrymore. After he retired, 
his life got very fucked up. Luckily, he got money from his daughter, Drew. Now, that's why I call it Firestar. Ray Williams. Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam. Rocky Lars. He became a boxer to the greatest goddamn meme in the world. Rest in peace. You would be proud of that fucking meme. Kurt Cobain, the godfather of grunge rock, told badass motherfucker. He committed suicide, but his legacy lives on. Do not kill yourself like Kirk, kids. Shania Twain. If it makes you happy. That's one of her songs. Hallelujah, I'm Tyler Perry. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm Medea, y'all. Why the fuck does he dress up as Medea? That's what I want to know. For the Medea Cinematic Universe. <laughs> uh, from Boys Don't Cry to the Karate Kid. And also Million Dollar Baby. Yeah. Kelly Clarkson. Tell me why do you have a thing made things so complicated? Ted Williams, the man with the golden voice, became a homeless person one minute to a great hero the next. You should be proud of it. And finally, we got Dennis Kyle. He went from a Broadway star to a homeless person. Hey, hey, um, to that landlord who kicked Dennis out, I will fuck you up. Now listen, Dennis, I'm, li I'm talking to you, Dennis. I'm going to interview you, okay? I'm dead serious. I'm going to interview Dennis. If you see Dennis on the Hollywood sign, give him fucking money. Give him some fucking money and a fucking job. I will interview the fuck out of you, Dennis. That is not an insult. You are a total badass guy, okay? You are a nice person, okay? Okay? Yeah, if you still... You fucking pussy motherfucker. I will fuck you up. Hey, uh, give him more money. Give him some fucking money. Motherfuckers, give him some money.